at the site of the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore, Maryland. They have been working around the clock at breakneck speed, trying to get these bridge trusses away from the dolly ship so that they can refloat the dolly and get it out of there. So they are in the final two days now before they blow this bridge truss completely off of the dolly ship. Away. Blow this guy away. Whatever. So the big announcement that was made just a couple of hours ago at 6.30 this evening was that the Unified Command came out and said that they're going to detonate all of those charges on the bridge truss to try to get it to fall off of the dolly. And they're going to do that Saturday evening. And they want all of the press to arrive at Fort Amistad Park no earlier than 5 p.m. and no later than 5.30. So we don't know when they're going to set off these charges, if they're going to do it immediately at 5.30 or at 6 or at 7, or if they're going to wait until dark. Personally, I hope they do it while it's still daylight so we can have a much clearer view of what's going on. And so those who are taking video and photos of it can get a clearer shot to give to the rest of us. So if you look at the Francis Scott Key Bridge, it was right here and Fort Armistead is right over here. So it's barely even a mile away. But yet they said on their previous announcement that they wanted everybody like 2,000 yards away for their own safety, but yet they're going to put the press here. So I knew that was sort of overkill because they said it's not going to sound anything more than fireworks and it's only going to last two to five seconds. But they're going to have them here so that they can film the entire blast going off right here. Today, the Unified Command released a series of photographs showing what they've been doing over the last couple of days to get everything marked and cut up. And I'm going to show you how they applied the detonation charges as well onto the different sections of the bridge truss. Look at that head on view. It just shows you just how much damage there was to the bow of the dally there. Look at that. Just a whole mess that they're going to have to clean up afterwards and try to patch that up. So they've already removed a lot of the truss from the starboard side of the bow, as you can see there. And the guys were just being hung by baskets left and right so they can mark and bag them and tag them. Here they've created some partial cuts and they're going to put the charges there. So here you can see they're measuring them and getting everything ready to apply their charges. And they've made a couple of more cuts there. So you can see how big the metal is they're dealing with. And those big black stripes, those are the detonation charges. Look how big they are compared to the workers, man. Those linear detonation charges. And there's a couple of more there. They are attaching them to strategic points around the bridge truss. And they're all over the place. So they're designed to bust it apart into several sections. And it will fall away from the dolly if all goes as planned for them. And here they are. Look at this. You couldn't pay me to get on top of that tall cherry picker man swaying in the breeze. And look at this close up shot of these guys putting more charges on. I would hate for one of those to blow up in my face when I'm putting one on there, too, man. That, that's what I would be so nervous about. There's more you can see that they've attached all over the place. And they're basically like rods held in place with big, giant tape. It looks like electrical tape almost, doesn't it? This is what's scary to me. This cherry picker is on a barge and the barge might possibly be moving and causing it to sway. Heck, I've been on rented 40 foot boom lifts on solid ground and they still bounce around in the wind. Now, I always see a lot of people complaining, oh, it looks like nothing's getting done. What's taking so long? But in reality, they've been working like gangbusters. I mean, it takes a long time to rig up one of these sections and then to haul it over. It takes a good 30 to 45 minutes to haul it over to Trade Atlantic over at Sparrows Point. And then they have to come back. They have to make the trip back. But, you know, there's only a couple of these cranes here that can carry any of the larger pieces like this and get it out of the way and over there. But they've been really doing a bang up job over the last couple of weeks. In fact, the Unified Command also released this video that sort of shows a recap. And remember, this is what it looked like probably maybe two weeks ago or so. So you still had a, a lot of the bridge trusses hanging over the bow of the dolly and of course a lot of that that you see on the starboard side has already been removed and they've removed 180 shipping containers off the dolly to lighten the load enough that they think it will refloat you know, once they get the bridge trusses off the dolly so remember this is what it looked like about two weeks ago and then here's what it looks like today 
So you can see here they brought in this awesome large metal shear. And this thing just looks like a giant claw and it will punch right through these metal girders. So as you can see, there's already a hole on the right there that it made. And it's about to make a second one. And this should weaken this particular beam there that they're trying to cut through. So look at it go. Love that noise. Look at the size of this thing, man. Oh, I wonder how much that would cost on Amazon Prime to have it shipped overnight. Here is from the Menorcan Mullets YouTube channel. Captain Andy has graciously allowed me to use some of his videos, and I'll put a link in the video description below for you to go check out his channel. He is awesome. He has a 4K camera set up, and he also does a live stream, so you can watch live what's going on every day. He usually runs a four-hour live stream, but YouTube only runs live streams in high definition, but he uploads the 4K version later on in high speed. If you look over here, you can see they're cutting and they're gonna be cutting this one little beam down. Now, I don't know why they didn't remove it with the other piece, probably because of the extension length might've been too much for that smaller crane, but you're going to see them. They're going at it and going at it and cutting there. Now to show you how this beam is about to fall, I switched back to the high def version because it's the only one that shows it real time and not sped up. But watch this, it's going to bend like right around now. There it goes. And watch this thing swing. Now remember, this thing's probably 30 or 40 feet long and weighs huge amounts. And to see that thing sway like that, it's like a gigantic pendulum. It takes a long time for it to settle down. And then about two minutes later, you can see after it stops settling down here, it's going to eventually fall. There it goes, right into the drink. So I don't know if they kept cutting on it a little more to make it fall, or if it just finally fell off on its own weight and it tore through the remaining stub of metal. And then this video here from Streamtime Live shows how they're getting ready to do the blast. If you look at the right side of the bridge truss there, you'll see the rectangular black detonation charges that have been placed all over there. So that can even be seen from a few miles away through their powerful zoom lens that they've got. On the left side of the screen, you can see this massive bridge truss section on the starboard side of the dolly. And they actually had it all rigged up and they lifted it up today and they moved it slightly. I don't know why they didn't take it away today. They set it back down. They're probably going to wait for tomorrow. Maybe they were just testing it to see. But you know, they were doing this at about five o'clock this afternoon. So they should have been able to, in my opinion, carry this off. I still don't know why they didn't. It looked like they had a good grab on it and everything. All the lines there look in tension and there's quite a few lines there on that rigging. So over the course of about six or seven minutes from 5.15 till about 5.21 this evening, you'll see they slightly lifted that piece up there and you can see it moving over slightly too to the right. And then here you're gonna see it looks like it's backed up and it's actually moving. It looks like they're going to back it up and take it over to Sparrow's Point, but they stopped. And remember, work is going on site-wide. So here's that bridge truss over here on the other side near the bridge pier. And this is on the Menorcan Mullets 4K camera. And he was showing this today. This was that piece of truss that I showed you earlier where they lowered that beam and the beam was swinging and fell off. That was yesterday. This was today. So here they sped it up for you and they're showing them taking it away there on that big old barge. Tell them large barge sent ya. So they just loaded it up and that's what they do. The smaller cranes take the smaller pieces and they haul them off, but they're working full bore at it. Now I want to show you here what's going on on the part of the bridge truss that they want to blow off the dolly on Saturday. Now I sped this up even more than what Captain Andy did to show you what they're doing with these cherry pickers. They're still going up there bagging and tagging and putting the putting the detonation charges on there. And if you look on the upper left hand side of the truss, you can see all of them taped on there. And same within certain spots here on the right hand side, just look where the cursor is. Then the Coast Guard released this video to us the other day too. And this is cool because this is a view from inside the dolly, inside where the damaged area is. So this is right where that gaping hole is on the starboard side of the bow. So you can see how just crushed and everything got. There's the skin of the outside of the ship right there. 
So you can almost have a hard time figuring out what's what. But look, you can see right out that gaping hole to the cranes right next to it. And this is all the crumpled mess from the roadway, you know, the concrete. And you're kind of looking at some of the shipping containers there. And, and a lot of them are highly crushed and damaged, even as far back as several rows. And I would not want to be walking under this. Although, you know, I bet it's probably fairly stable by now. If it was going to fall, it probably would have by now. It's been there for well over a month. There was more debris on the floor there. And let's see what else we can see here. So you're basically looking up and out through that big gaping hole on the bow. Look how the metal just got crushed in there. And that was the pillar. That was one of the pillars you just saw. And there we go. There's more debris all over the place. So yeah, you know, what you're looking at here is right where the big wound is on the front side of the ship. A lot of twisted up metal. But you know what? I think at the end, all of this is repairable. I mean, when you figure that they must have built this boat from the ground up. Anyway, there's the truss there. And see that big orange square thing in the middle of the screen? That's the top of the pier cap that fell over and landed on top of the bow. So there's a lot of rebar there from it. See, there it is right there. This is the, the bottom of that pier cap right there. And there's more of the bridge truss. Now, one thing I wanted to remind you of, you know, here on this channel, we do a lot of engineering disasters and remodeling projects. So I want you to take a look at this video up here next. And this is a massive kitchen cabinet installation I did with double decker cabinets on the top. Very, very difficult. And also a 45 degree mounted refrigerator in the corner. You definitely got to check that video out. And when you're done with that one, make sure you check out this other video over here too on how to laminate your floors. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see all of you on the next one.